You know, the, the, the happiness and abundance project, obviously, is all about happiness and abundance. But uh, there are so many different angles to look at happiness. Um, and one of them is the, uh, the opposite side of the coin. Um, like, what's the opposite of happiness? Well, there's probably a few different uh, opposites, but uh, one of them, which I'd like to talk about for a couple minutes, is about fear. Now, fear, as, um, as I talked about earlier, um, is one of those primitive uh, emotions that we inherited from our ancient ancestors. And back in the day, fear was a, I wouldn't say it was a, a negative emotion. In fact, it was a thing that kept us alive. Um, and, uh, and even now, in this modern era, fear is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, but we'll, we'll take a look at the, what are probably the two different kinds of fear, rational and irrational. The rational fears that we have now are keeping us alive. These are the things that keep us from um, walking into traffic or walking off a cliff or, or walking down a, a, a dark alley. The problem is uh, the irrational fears. Uh, these are the things that are getting in the way of what can potentially make our lives really freaking awesome. Um, irrational fears like <laughs> fear of spiders, fear of public speaking, fear of failure, fear of success, fear of rejection. Uh, fear of rejection is one of these things that has followed us through the, through the millennia. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, if we got rejected from the tribe, it was essentially a death sentence. I think when people talk of fear re of rejection now, it tends to be on a more romantic level, you know, uh, fear of uh, asking that really cool chick, that really groovy guy out. Uh, sorry, aging myself. Uh, because we're, we're afraid of being rejected by this person. Well, chances of dying from that kind of rejection are slim to none. Uh, you know, um, the fear of public speaking, you know, we're afraid of, I don't know, looking like a fool, I guess, but I don't know. Um, Jerry Seinfeld was saying that uh, uh, the fear of, of public speaking was rated scarier than the fear of death. The people would rather be in the box than talking about the person in the box. Uh, let's see, we have fears of the unknown, still, another carryover from our, uh, an, our ancient ancestors, fear of the unknown. We want to avoid the tiger. There's no more tigers out there. But this is, and I've experienced this myself, um, you know, we're afraid of failure. Well, what is failure? Well, it probably a temporary setback, but I think we tend to blow it out of proportion. Uh, there's the fear of success, and I have to say I've experienced both of these. Fear of success is, well, your brain is inventing this success. You know, what it looks like. Well, what does it look like? Well, the brain is kind of making it up as it goes along. We're picturing um, uh, giant houses and fancy cars and uh, uh, world travel and arm candy. Uh, and what if we're not worthy of this? I think that's another kind of fear. But fear, just like with um, our ancient ancestors, fear is an important signal. Back in the day, it kept people alive. Now it's showing us, I believe, opportunity. If you're afraid to do something, that is the exact reason why you need to do it. 
fear, this fear, your brain is, is conjuring up this fear and pretending it's important. And it is not. Uh, and as I look at my notes, let's see here. Uh, we, we see these people who we label as courageous. And it's like, man, he has done so much in his life. She has hit the highest pinnacles. These people are fearless. Baloney. Nobody is fearless. Everybody has fears. What these people do have um, and has exercised this particular muscle is courage. Now, courage is not the opposite of fear. Courage is moving forward hand in hand with fear. So I'm saying embrace your fears because fears are part of being human. If we didn't have, if humans didn't have fear, there would be no more humans. So look at what you want in your life and see if there's any fear stand, that you're perceiving standing in your way between you and this, uh, this achievement. Now, is this fear of, is this, what is it telling you? Is it telling you that someone could die? Could you die if you make this achievement or could somebody else? Chances are, no. Is this fear pretending to be something important? It's worth exploring. So, embrace your fears. Everybody, and I mean everybody has them. It's part of the human experience. With that, I hope you uh, take fear by the hand and uh, walk down the golden path if, um, I guess that's it. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to do these once a week. Uh, that's the plan, and I will see you next week.